Hey guys, so um, Dad texted me this morning uh, telling me that I should read the scripture and um, it's actually talking about how the world is hating Jesus, sinning against him. Guys, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of videos about the rapture and when he'll be coming back. We don't know when he's coming back. It could be soon and he might tarry. I don't know why. Um, people hate the Lord or, you know, reject him. You know, we've been talking about how much they love their sin more than they love the Lord. Well, it's true, guys. So, uh, today I'm at John 15, and I'm going to read uh, 25 through 26, and it's in the subject of the world's hate. Uh, so, uh, guys, the world, this, I think it's actually talking about what's going on right now, and, you know, people are not paying attention. They don't see the signs. People are wrapped up in their own pleasure, or the little ball pleasures, I like to say. Yeah. So, guys, uh, let's, um, I'm going to read 25 through 26. I might read the whole subject, or chapter. However, they only f this only fulfills the text in their law. They hated me without cause. When the paraclete comes, the spirit of truth who comes from the Father, and whom I, I myself will send from the Father. Uh, I believe that this is um, Jesus speaking... Um, Uh, before he gets, he's speaking of, you know, uh, God sending him down to save us all. You know, he's explaining his cause and how he's, the world has hated God. I, um, I'm not sure, but, uh, I think, I think if this happens before the crucifixion, I don't know. Um, I think that no, I guess I guess this happens after Jesus has been cru has died on the cross for our sins and um, ascended into heaven. Well, uh, why don't we read the whole chapter, and uh, then we'll discuss it. So, let me go back to John. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back at John. Uh, sorry that it took so long, guys. Sorry, I had to scratch my cheek. Um. All right, so uh, the world's hate. If you find that the world hates you, know it has hated me before you. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own reason it hates you is that you do not belong to the to the world but you I chose you out of the world remember what I told you no slave is greater than his master they will harry you as they harried me they will respect your words as much as they respected mine and all this they will do because of my uh, to you because of my name for they know nothing of him who sent me if I had not come to them and spoken to them they would not be guilty of sin now, however, the sin... Sorry, did you not see my face? Sorry. Now, however, the sin cannot be excused. Their sin cannot be excused. To hate me is to hate my father. Had I not performed such works among them 
as no one has ever done before. They would not be guilty of sin, but as it is, they have seen, as they go on hating me and my father. However, they, uh, this only fulfills the text in their law, they hated me without cause. Meaning they hated him without reason. Let me finish this. Um, when Pericles comes, the spirit of truth that comes from the Father. I already read this. Sorry, guys. And who myself, I myself will send from the Father. He will bear witness on my behalf. You must bear witness as well. For you have been with me from the beginning. So, what I know exactly what he's talking about. People of the Lord, they are not of God. They don't belong to the Lord. Sorry. Whoever follows the world is a, is a stranger in God's eyes. But you can turn back to him. Now, what I'm, I'm not saying at all that you shouldn't live your life and, you know, enjoy the things of this world. I mean, like, you know, TV and video games. No, you cannot um, put them above God, is what I'm saying. You can enjoy the video games and TV. Just don't put it above God and don't idolize it. Because that's where people, you know, their problems come and they, they love pleasure more than they love Jesus. Um, but if we love the Lord and honor Him, people who people will see that, people that are of the world, they'll hate you because you love the Lord. If you were of this world, they'd love you. They would. But you know what? Ask yourself this. Whose opinion is more important? The Lord who created you? Or the people that he created? Uh, I would say the creator. In fact, I know that it's the Lord. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Please, um, did you feel moved at all by this scripture? And um, is there any questions you want to ask? I'll be happy to answer, and if you need prayer, I'll pray for you. I'd be happy to, guys. So just remember, guys, don't um, fall into the trap of the world like everyone else does. If people, if you're gonna, you're gonna come across people who don't have a clue, and when you try to share the word, they only just like scoff at you. They scoff at you and they just look away because they don't love God. They don't, uh, you know, the people who say they don't believe. I think they truly do, but they just don't want to. So guys, please don't don't be like the world. Just love Jesus, trust him. He will be there for you by your side. All right, so take care guys. Remember, I'm just playing simple. I may be playing simple, but he is not. And when times get um when times get tough, praise God in the storm. I stop using this that phrase, but you know what? Praise God in the storm. See you guys.